You know, that's really what curiosity is. That's why children live in bliss, because they embrace curiosity. We don't embrace curiosity so much adults. We've got it all figured out. We know, we know what it is. We know what something is. So we don't want to look any farther. Children, they're not like that. You know, they'll look at something and they'll, they'll, if they, they'll, they'll find as many things as possible with it. And if they run out of things to find, they'll invent things. They'll follow, this, they'll follow it, follow it, follow it. I remember Sandra was here in the 9 o'clock service a few weeks ago and she talked about a situation where she, she was helping a woman with her car who was panicked, who'd locked her keys in her car and was just panicking, totally panicking. She, her purse was locked in her car. You know, she's just, she, and all she could say to Sandra was, please don't leave, don't leave. And, and the voice inside Sandra was saying, yeah, that's right, don't leave. Sandra's going, what do you mean? I can't do anything. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? She won't go get a car. She won't, she won't leave the call. She's afraid to leave the car. She just wants to stay here. What's, what could happen by staying here? The keys are locked in the car. It's cold out here. What could happen from the keys being locked in the car? She has no keys. We have no phone. We're sitting here. What could happen? What could happen? I've been here before. I know what could happen. I know what could happen. I know what could happen. And you know what could happen? Nothing but us getting cold until finally we give up this, this drama, if we do. Sandra finally says, all right, almost like frustration at her spirit saying, okay, all right already. I'll stay here. I'll just stay here with her. If that's what's supposed to be, I'll just stay here in, and do nothing. And as soon as she does that, the voice says, what's that in your hand? She says, my car key. She says, why don't you try sticking that in the car? She puts it in the car door, the car. It wasn't her car. She turns it and the key opens. The door opens. Hmm. I would not have seen that coming. Have you wondered, have you wondered like me, how much of your life you haven't seen coming because you're too busy knowing what's coming and preparing for it and, and almost really like visualizing it, it happening before, it, before anything else could happen? I think that's what my teacher said when he, meant when he said the kingdom of heaven is here, but people don't see it. They don't see it. It's right here. It's right here. I can imagine what would happen in this world if our government leaders, if the first rule was, okay, whenever anything comes up, first thing you do is you don't leave the room and you don't do anything. <laughs> and you just stay there and don't leave the room and don't do anything. Until, until you're okay with staying there and not doing anything. What could happen? What could happen to you? What could happen to me? With that kind of attitude. That God actually is present. See, we even look at prayer and we think that prayer is like a hit and miss thing. Like, like God shows up once in, once in a while. Spirit shows up once in a while. We got it backward. It's not that God's not showing up. We're not showing up. We're not showing up. We're too busy going... Oh, I know what this is. I know what it means. I don't know if I like it. I think I'd like it this to be this. I I gotta go watch some TV for a while. I gotta have a drink. I gotta do something. I gotta numb out here a little bit. It's been a hard day. What'd you do? Well, actually, I didn't do a lot, but my mind did a real lot. It did a lot. Whew, I'm tired. What, was, well, how was your, what did you do at work? So, well, I, I pushed some paper around. I did this, made a few decisions. But my mind, oh boy, have we been back and forth today. Have we been back and forth today. And you know what? We haven't been very far either. We've been covering kind of the same old ground. Change the story. Don't change your life. Change the story about your life. Don't make a new story. Just let the old one go. Hang out, the hang out with the uncertainty about what might be before you. You might be very, very much surprised. Thank you for listening. <laughs>